started as a visual artwork that was about placing the wheelchair in the most unexpected environment I could think about. I started talking to engineers and they were so convinced it wouldn't work. Do you know, it really nearly put me off. Sue proved her doubters wrong, but why is making an underwater wheelchair so hard? The key to scuba diving is being neutrally buoyant. To do that, you need to balance the force of gravity pulling you down and the force of buoyancy pushing you up. In Sue's case, she has a wheelchair which is pulling her down. To balance that out, she has a buoyancy control device. By filling these vessels with air, she gets more buoyant and goes up. Releasing it causes her to go down. Now this serves a double purpose. This air also enables her to breathe underwater. How does Sue move forward through the water? Sue needs to move through three-dimensional space. To do this, she has an electric propulsion system to drive her forwards. But the system is mounted at the bottom of the wheelchair. It means it wants to pull the bottom of the wheelchair forward, while the top has the drag of the water acting on it. Combined, this will cause the wheelchair to tilt backwards. To stop this spin, she has attached two large foot plate, like fins, over the front of the wheelchair. And this stops the front from rising. Not only do these plates keep her stable in the water, but they also make it possible for her to navigate. So, with her feet, she can press down on the left pedal and move the left plate, turning her left. Likewise with the right. There's another fin in the back of the chair, and she's got five different positions to choose from. At the highest position, she can actually do a backwards loop-to-loop. -loop. At the lowest position, she'll do a forwards roll. There is literally nothing I've done that compares with loop-the-looping in the underwater wheelchair. As the chair comes down and round, there's this incredible force, so it's very visceral, and it did feel amazing. Now that she's tamed the oceans, Sue's next project is a flying wheelchair.